Hi folks, Jake Von Slat here, and I've got a new toy. This is a portable welder. It has a four-cylinder pushrod engine to drive a generator. Uh, there's an onboard uh, electrical system for the motor, uh, um, starter motor, gas tank, radiator, the whole schmear. Uh, it's a 200 amp portable welder. Um, now, what's really cool about this is uh, when it was made and what it was made with. Uh, it was made in probably late 1940s, early 1950s, and it uh, um, has a four-cylinder engine from a 1946 Austin Dorset, uh, and that is uh, connected with a timing chain to a 200 amp generator from uh, a, a, a World War II surplus generator from a cargo plane. It's a Delco Remy P1 uh, uh, DC generator, 24 volts, 200 amps. Let's go take a closer look. So here's the control panel and it has a rheostat which I believe is for adjusting the field current on the generator and uh, there's a voltage meter along with that. That's the output for the uh, the welder um, labeled hot and ground it looks like uh, and it's uh, it's it's a little block of what I think is asbestos. Um, switch to turn it on, starter uh, button, and choke. So that's the extent of the controls. And uh, I've got a lawn tractor battery in it. Uh, I've cranked it over. It does turn over. Uh, there's oil. Uh, the oil looks pretty clean. Uh, the whole thing looks like it's been run fairly recently. I don't know exactly how recently, but uh, uh, it's overall in good shape. I picked this up off Craigslist. Um, it was, uh, uh, I think, the uh, the brothers that were selling it from the fa their father's estate um, uh, weren't necessarily sure anybody uh, would want this, uh, so they put it in Craigslist for one hundred dollars. And uh, when I saw it, I had to have it, uh, and and you'll see why in a second. So here is the business end. This is the Delco Remy P1 generator, and uh, you can see it's it's definitely from an aircraft. It has a uh, safety wire on uh, all the little boat bolts, um, and there's a, a flex coupler there. The timing chain that actually drives it, so no slipping belts. And uh, it has a electric fan to keep it cool. And my understanding is that these uh, um, these generators when used as a welder if you uh, if you do have a fan on it or if you otherwise provide some cooling they're pretty much a hundred percent duty cycle here's the uh, Austin Dorset engine with uh, oil bath air cleaner and I think this is the expansion uh, tank for the uh, for the radiator. Um, this is really, this is all old school stuff. Everything is heavy duty brass. Let's go take a look around the other side. So here's the motor. And um, some interesting things. This appears to be a solenoid that is linked to the carburetor. And this solenoid is attached to a contact that is at the end of this apparatus. And this apparatus is something called an arc stabilizer. It's connected with heavy gauge wire to the top of the generator. And then the other end goes to the panel for the electrodes. And uh, this is basically a large inductor, and it smooths out the current delivery. So it, as, as the magnetic field uh, uh, builds and saturates the core, um, it, it moderates the inrush current when you first strike the weld. And uh, if, you, if you move further away uh, with your uh, electrode, um, the collapsing uh, uh, magnetic field will 
augment the current for a, for a moment. So it, it basically just smooths out the response of the arc. And they call this a uh, arc stabilizer. Um, I keep wanting to refer to it as, as the arc reactor, but uh, it is in fact an arc, arc stabilizer. So like I said, it's an inductor. So uh, um, when you start welding with this, this becomes a big electromagnet. It pulls in those contacts and those contacts then trigger that solenoid which opens the carburetor and uh, um, brings the engine up to uh, to running speed. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put a little gasoline in it and I'm going to see if I can get this started. And the uh, the plan is if I if I can get it running um, I have uh, acquired some uh, wheelbarrow wheels and a uh, and a shaft and I'm going to uh, uh, weld a little chassis on this uh, so I can uh, move it around the uh, the shop a little bit more easily um, but before I uh, I put that much effort into it I want to see if I can start it so um, here we go okay let's see if we can make this happen okay power on That's the fan in the back of the uh, generator. Choke, and let's crank it. All right, I'm gonna try pouring a little gasoline in the car. like we don't have any spark so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, build my wheels anyways and uh, uh, then dig into the the details of this uh, uh, once I have it mobile it's taking up a lot of room in the middle of the shop so stand by for part two where uh, hopefully we actually get this beast running this is Jake Von Slat see you next time